Here I want to show how to install Plan 7 Architect on a MacBook for free using the UTM app. Um, you need to know that if you search for the UTM app in the App Store, it costs €9.99 or the equivalent in US dollars. And if you download the app from the website, then it is free. Uh, however, we also absolutely need this app, the Crystal Fetch ISO Downloader app. I have already installed it and, um, we will need it later. I am now going to Google, type in UTM download, and go to the UTM website. Here I click on download and download the app. Now UTM is downloaded. I double click it. And here I have to drag the app into the Applications folder. At the same time, I also open the UTM app. Here, I click on Create a new virtual machine, Virtualize and I choose Windows. Here I need an ISO file and I create it with the Crystal Fetch app. I open it and enter here. Windows 11 latest. And because I am on a MacBook Pro with an N4 chip, I choose Apple Silicon here. If I had an older MacBook with an Intel chip, I would have to select Intel. I choose English United States as the language. This is very important for Plan 7 Architect to function correctly. And Windows 11 and click on Download and then on Accept. And this will take a bit longer now. We'll skip this part. Now I have to select a folder where the um, ISO file should be saved and click on Move, and the file is saved there. Now I open the UTM app again and click on Browse. And here is my US ISO file. I open it. I leave the check on Install Windows 10 or higher and the check on Install Drivers and Spice Tools, then click Continue. Here, I keep the default settings for hardware and also keep the default settings for the hard drive. I am not checking the shared directory. I tried and it didn't work. Maybe it works for others, but not for me. So I click on Continue here. Here, I also leave the settings as they are and click on Save. Now my virtual machine has been created and I can start it by pressing Play. Now Windows is about to start and I need to press a key with the following message appears. Here, press any key, I press Enter, and now I'm starting Windows from the ISO file. It's important to press Enter the first time at this point to begin the installation. Now I select uh, as Language and Time English United States. This is very important for the Plan 7 architects to function correctly later and keyboard also US. Since I don't have a product key, I click on I don't have a product key. I can also buy a product key online for six or seven dollars, but you can also work without a product key. Um, here, it doesn't matter which Windows version I choose. I choose the home version. Click on Accept. Here my hard drive is shown, which was automatically created. It is automatically selected. I click on Next. And now Windows is being installed and it will sometimes restart in between. We will skip this time now. And now Windows has been installed and you need to make the initial settings. We select United States as the country. US as the keyboard. No second keyboard. And for the name, uh, we enter any name and a random password, 
which we have to enter twice consecutively. And now, we have three security questions that we need to fill out. It doesn't matter um, whether you take them seriously or not. I'll just fill something in that doesn't make sense. And now it will take a while because updates are being installed. The Windows version automatically gets, um, internet access via the MacBook internet connection. Now I click next to it and, um, the guest tools will be installed automatically. Uh, I click here on next, I agree, and now they will be installed and they are necessary for the proper functionality of Windows on a uh, UTM and soon there will be a black screen because the graphics card is being installed as well and many make the mistake and turn it off thinking something went wrong but in truth you just have to wait two or three minutes until the installation is finished now the screen is black and you should wait two or three minutes now we have waited two or three minutes and now um, I press the enter key, tab, and then enter again. And now um, Windows should restart once. And if that doesn't happen, then you click here on uh, close on OK and restart. This is how you also restart. And the guest tools should now be installed. I click once with the left mouse button, enter my password, and here Windows is completely installed. And the easiest way to now install Plan 7 Architect is to open the Microsoft Edge browser and go to our website. I do not synchronize any data. And I go to Plan7Architect.com, click on Login, log into my account, click on Downloads there, and download my software. Now the zip file is downloaded and I make the UTM window large and minimize the Edge browser. Go down here to Files, into the Downloads folder. Then I right-click on the zip file and select Extract All and Extract. That's how I unzip the folder now. Right-click on Setup. and then run as administrator and the installation of Plan 7 Architect opens. I accept the terms and leave all settings as they are, change nothing, and keep pressing Next until I click Install. Click on Finish and I minimize these folders. And here on the desktop, we have an icon for the program. I open it and the first thing we need to do is enter the license. Here, you click on Activate Your License and Activate Online. Then I enter the license here and click on Activate License Key. And now, the license is activated and I open the program again via the icon on the desktop. And now, I can draw walls here and everything works. In the 3D mode, I also see everything. and everything works.